<laughs> in the in, uh, in, uh, in ten seconds. Uh, so no, one minute. I, I want to say thank you first for the opportunity to be here with you tonight, and for uh, the enthusiasm and, and energy uh, that so many of you bring to bring to this uh, great challenge ahead of us in this in this year. Look, I, I think it comes down to deeds, not words and rhetoric. I've had the opportunity for the last 14 years to work in public service, both as a U.S. attorney and district attorney, where I had the opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. But there were people who, who were looking for a voice when they were in a particular time of trouble. A woman who was struggling with domestic violence and given dignity. A person, a senior citizen in a nursing home, fearful about substandard care, give them comfort. The opportunity to go into neighborhoods that are strangled with the with, with, gun, with drugs and, and guns and violence. To take on a city that is just enmeshed with corruption to give people a sense of confidence in government. In each of those there was a chance to fight with that person without a voice. And now is the time we've got to go back. And in this particular time, go back and give ourselves again a voice for the seventh congressional district. Go down to Washington, D.C. and to stand in place to take on this big government Pelosi politics that are driving us into bankruptcy. Thank you.